another interview. So today we're speaking with Shane Campbell, who fights on the CGC this weekend in an awaited rematch in which a first bout. A lot of people believe he won it. He's training out of GB top team and he'll be looking to show why his record doesn't necessarily reflect the qualities that he does have. So we'll just wait for him to join. For some reason he doesn't want to allow me to invite him, but as soon as he's in here, we'll get right into it. Yo, you Yo. How's it going? Not too bad, how are you, bud? I'm all good, man, I'm all good. Good, good. So I'll get right into it. Obviously, it's an awaited rematch this weekend. You believe you yeah. won the first, and a lot of other people do as well. So going into this sort of fight this weekend, knowing you're about to make a statement, how are you feeling, buddy? Excited. I just can't wait to get it over and done with now, man. I'm just like, I, I wish I could have done this a few weeks ago. And as so, well... Say that again? So, sorry about that. And then as well, in terms of the fight, I know your record obviously doesn't reflect the skills that you've got at the moment because obviously the way that it was just last time. So do you also believe that this fight's going to just show people the actual talent that you are possessing at the moment? 100%. I'm just going to be like a total different person. Like like I said, the record thing's annoying. But um, at the end of the day, it is what it is now, isn't it? At the time, I couldn't really come to terms with it. But I have now. So... Just got to put a massive statement out there and make everyone just see who I really am. <clears throat> yeah, and as well, in terms of looking around at the GB Top Team, a lot of people have mentioned the absolute work rate that you've had during this training camp and the skills that you've been putting on. So to train out of a gym like GB Top Team, what is that like for you as well? Amazing. Like Even the other day, like I was, like before a couple of the guys are getting ready for Bellator, I was literally just sitting there. Like when I was training, I had the camera, the camera, Guys were all in the gym. I was just looking around in the room. I was like, this is crazy. Like, the level in this gym is unreal. Like, people from all over. Exactly, Corey. Records are for DJs. <laughs> <laughs> Main man there as well. Like, the, the, the level is just crazy. Do you know what I mean? So, it's just unreal. And as well, when you do see those sort of people coming in, obviously, you've got fighters that are in the UFC, Bellator, Cage Warriors. And obviously, there's people in all sorts of different parts of their journey in MMA. So is that sort of inspiring as well to watch those guys at the top and then also the guys coming up at the same time? Yeah, no, exactly. It's always like Those people inspired me from the start, from when I first joined um, working with Brad and everyone. Those guys inspired me at the start. I remember talking to a few of the guys saying, yeah, I just want to be like fighting on those stages one day. I remember saying that's done before. Obviously, then it happened. I did fight on Bellator as well. And then, um, yeah, then, like, Corey coming, for example, like, even last time when I was with Corey, the amount of stuff I say to him all the time, I'm just like, oh, man, I want to be like you, man. Come on, man. So, like, yeah, it's, 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 like, definitely inspiring in a way. Yeah, and as well, this weekend, CGC, obviously, it's a new show, but it's already got a lot of eyes on it. And there's yeah. players from all, basically... I'll bring those eyes to the show. i bring those eyes to the show. <laughs> <laughs> and, and as well, obviously, as, as mentioned there, there's a, there's a lot of new people coming in. So to also fight on a, on a sort of global stage in Cyprus, is that something new for you or is that something that you have done before? Yeah, no. Nah, um, obviously, I've been in Cyprus loads. I've like said in the past. I've got family over there and stuff. Um, so like traveling over there is not new but yeah bringing something new 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 show and stuff that's what i, I do like it I, i'm kind of like i'd like to be like a face of something new so it's your way of getting in do you know what i mean so i like i like the fact that it's all new and stuff obviously um we're going out there with a little army this time we've got a couple more of my teammates as well to look out for as well so yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be fire and, and as well, I, I know you've mentioned how you've been able to come to terms with everything that happened before in the first fight. But going into this second fight, um, how are you feeling in terms of it? Obviously, it's an opponent you believe you beat the first time round. So do you feel as though does, does it prove you could potentially get complacent or have you been able to stay focused and treat it as though? No, no, yeah, no, I think at the start, it's just fueled me, it's fueled me with a lot of fire in it, so... Yeah, just a lot more fire in, in general. More motivated. Do you know what I mean? Like, 
to have something taken away from me like that, it's like just ignited something in my head differently. I'm just, I'm, the amount of training I'm doing, I've been putting in so much work. So nothing like that can happen again. And obviously I know now for like, for the future as well, obviously that's happened quite earlier on in my pro career. <clears throat> but now I know that this crazy stuff can happen. Did you watch the fight yourself? Um, I haven't watched it for a little while. I watched yeah. it a little bit, but I need to go through and watch the footage. But it, it was yeah. it was a very good fan. I, to be honest, I don't think you came away with the win as well. And it seems a lot of yeah. the other fans as well. And you are a strong favourite going into it on other sites and we've got the fight there. So it seems as though yeah. many people would agree you won that first one too. Yeah, I'm just going to put another dominant performance in, to be honest. Like, it's going to be, in my eyes, it's going to be a landslide more than it was before. There was nothing in the other one, really. There was, there was a few spells, but what's a few spells over a whole fight? Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. Yeah, and, and then as well, in terms of, you look at the fact that you're going into a lot of people, as I mentioned before, are saying this is the best version that they've seen of you and the work rate that you've been putting in, especially for this camp. So do you feel this is also going to be the best version that we've seen of you as well coming this weekend? Yeah, of course. It's going to be very different, very exciting for people to see as well. It's going to be like totally different to how I've been before. I mean, I might be like how I was in my amateur debut, maybe like more like that, more just, just crazy, you know what I mean? I feel like I've just got that kind of fire back in a way. Obviously, when I was an amateur, I didn't really know what I was doing as much in my debut, but obviously I know what I'm doing now, and I feel like knowing what you're doing and putting it all in like in a crazy type of way mindset is a dangerous person. You're, in a dang you're even more of a dangerous person because I know what I'm doing. I'm in control. Yeah, and as well, as mentioned, getting those sort of early experiences, of experience and a decision not going your way, even if it should have done, do you think, in a sense, that's going to benefit you in the long run as well, if you're trying to find any sort of benefit from sort of those decisions? Is that one of the things that you feel might benefit you in the future, knowing how to handle those scenarios? Yeah, definitely. Like, I'll be like, yeah. And funny enough, though, like, I feel like this year, like, see, I've seen, like, it's happening on the highest stage as well, like, week after my fight happened in that, that I think it was the Cotterill fight, the boxing fight, that crazy thing. So just seeing all me going through it, feeling it, and seeing all these other people go through it, I'm like, you know what? It's it's stuff that happens, isn't it? And it's hard to, like, when there's people that don't really know the sport or know me as a person or even watched it, it's hard. The only part that's annoying is telling someone, oh, I lost, you know what I mean? I'd rather like someone go watch the fight and then come back and be like, oh, what happened there? Do you know what I mean? That's the, that's, that's the way I've found of being able to deal with it instead of just like, that's there. That's what I can say, really. I'm just rumbling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and then as well, I, I know obviously you'll be overlooking your opponent, but have you got sort of a plan that you're looking to achieve this year for how many fights you're looking to get or something along that sort of line? Yeah, man. So, like I said, the goal at the start of the year was to get, like, four fights. The plan was to be four and one. Obviously, what happened was I got put back a bit now. So, that means that I now need to have an additional fight to get into the same pathway <clears throat> as I want to be now. So, I need another. After this, I need another three fights by the end of the year. And I guess we're still kind of early in. So, yeah, on schedule still. They ain't gonna, They ain't going to change. So yeah. I want to be pretty active, pretty active. Pretty active. And as well, it's obviously if you do find yourself at far and one at the end of this year, it opens up a lot of opportunities for you as well. So is there also a sort of place of where you're looking to see yourself in the next two years or is that something that you're just taking as it comes along? Yeah, well, I won't be far and one now because they screwed me over. So it'll be, it'll be, so now that's why I said the whole plan changed now. But, um, <clears throat> But yeah, um, I'm looking, yeah, I've been looking ahead. I mean, I had my eyes on like going back to Bellator and PFL, any of those big shows really. UFC wanted to get me on Contender Series, that would have been good as well. Like, these are all aspirations and plans that I want for the future. That like, I say next. Yeah, if I imagine I, I get to 4-1, I'm on a massive 4-2, 5-2, I'm on a great roll, then yeah. Why not go over into those bigger shows again? 
100%. And then just finally from me, obviously, I know you've already made a slight statement in terms of people can expect to see domination this weekend. But if there's anything else that people can expect to see from you, we might have not seen your fights before, what would that look like? So excitement. Obviously, excitement on my side. It's not going to be like no entertaining where it's swinging both ways. It's going to be one-sided, <clears throat> one-sided excitement, basically. Entertainment. It's going to be totally different. Totally different from, I don't know, I can say the last fight. Like, the first round, obviously, I clearly won it. Then, obviously, I became, like, a bit, like, stagnant. I didn't do much, but just watch this one. There's going to be a lot of stuff going on. A lot of stuff. Yeah, and then as well, just in terms of anything at the end, anyone you'd like to shout out, sponsors, teammates, coaches, yeah. anybody like that, obviously feel free to go ahead, buddy. Yeah, man, let's um, shout out to all my team, GB Top Team, uh, Brad, Ash, Barry, Uma, <clears throat> literally everyone on the whole team, all my teammates. Um, Corey, of course, obviously CGC MMA, well, well, yeah, we're going to catch you up soon. And all my sponsors, Strong Wings, here with a hat, Via Fitness, um, everyone, Via Fitness, Flow Fightwear, I hope I miss no one out. All my, all my striking coaches, I've got Carlton, Daniel Sam, um, John, Duran, and yeah, let me just leave it there before I forget something. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So yeah, Biofitness. Oh, Biosynergy. There you go. Biosynergy, Biofitness, and Flow Fight with. There we go. Well, that is everything from me. So I appreciate your time during Fight Week. It'll be a great performance this weekend. Hopefully, everybody can tune in. Um, if you can't get to Cyprus for some reason, um, yeah, obviously there'll be a pay per view for the show. Yeah, the weather's gonna be banging. Like it's like thirty degrees. Come on, I can't wait. This weather over here is just a joke at the moment. It's rained like seven times. Then sunny in a second. It's been annoying. So yeah, man, get out there. Been annoying. Well, there you are. That's everything from me. So thank you very much. I look forward to this weekend. Thank you very much. Nice for the fun, Wicked. <laughs>